Welcome back everyone to some more binary domain. Yeah, I gotta remember to keep saying that instead of bionic domain. I don't know. In my head I keep getting them mixed up. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? No problem. You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. Telling you, man, live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man? Well, I'm guessing the robots had something to do with it. Mace? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there! I and see the light. light. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Whoa! We got company. Oh, great. Should be fun, right? <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. I still got grenades. No, I don't. They're in the air, too. This is bullshit. Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck. No, 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 not the red guys, not the red guys. You got aerial units, well, why don't you fucking use it then? You douchebag. Oh my god. I'm taking some damage. Let me just chill out for a minute. Yeah, that's my line. How dare you say it the way I say it. You know, I think this is actually one of those Sega games that is really underrated. This is actually a really good game. And it should definitely it definitely deserves a lot more publicity than it got. Because I never even heard about it until one of my followers actually suggested that I play it. So I mean if you guys if you guys haven't played this yet, you should definitely go check it out. It's a great game. Great game indeed. And I am taking this mega gun with me. Because I didn't get a chance to use it last time. So now. If there are any robots, I want to use it. And of course we get a cutscene, because that's just what happens whenever I get that gun. Oh shit, don't this boy ever get tired? Shut up and jump! Oh shit. We always get a soft landing when he lands on like rubble and hard surfaces. Head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Oh, well, that was a nice surprise. A lovely woman with a rocket launcher is always welcome. Hombucho. ロッポンギでもレッドアラートです。警備行動中のグランランサーから機能停止信号。堤防に侵入した連中だな。え、そのようです。グランランサーを倒したのか。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。本部長、お台場での画像です。ただの密入国じ
Just those two. So, where's everybody else? Well, the French are already inside the city. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. The file photo doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo, you know the only movies you watch are porn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right, with the... Mm, yeah. <laughs> hey, watch this. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Dan, and that is my partner, Bo. Ni hao. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? I like that in a woman. Maybe if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Yeah, rough with the smooth, man. So, this is all China sent, huh? Just one woman? I am First Lieutenant Fei Li of the People's Liberation Army. My two subordinates were killed by security robots on the way here. Aw, oh, shit, listen. We didn't mean no disrespect. Hard to believe you're the one they called a survivor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. You ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck? Well, that's good. Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. Right, beta one to base. Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger that. Base out. Got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. The 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose, climate went to hell, and three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. Thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. 
We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. Now, can I just say that was an awesome intro? That was definitely an awesome intro. I'm guessing that was the prologue. That's the end of the prologue there. Okay, can we get on with the game now? It was amazing, that prologue. Like that long cutscene there. Oh, wow. Almost as good as Infamous 2's prologue. Oh, look, a loading screen. I'll be cutting these out in future, but for this one, I'm just going to talk over it. Um, d does anyone else... Bo and um, Dan. Bo and Dan. Dan reminds me of Cloud, and Bo reminds me of Barrett from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, look, chapter two! Right, I'll let the uh, cutscenes do the talking. Right, we split the two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up the rear. I mean, at least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Why don't I remind you that I'm in command here? Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your attitude. So, who do you fancy for your team, Sergeant? Wow, this is definitely like Final Fantasy. We get to pick our team. British. Um, well, me being... <laughs> you know what? Sniper rifle, SMG various explosives, shotgun. You know, me being British myself, I'm going to go with Charlie. And I'm going to go with Bo because he's been with us the whole time. And he's a heavy gunner. I don't really fancy having a sniper, so I can take the sniper. Proceed with his members. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. Our contact is waiting. He's rather chipper. What, what, old boy? <laughs> and what if we get busted by some scrapheads again? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? Huh. See? He's not so bad. He doesn't seem to like us very much, I've noticed. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, because the uh, cutscenes went on quite a, lot, quite a long time there, so... Other than that, if you liked the video, then please like it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I shall see you all in my next episode of Binary Domain. Oh, yes. So other than that, all that's left to say from me is farewell.